During Black Friday, a devastating viral pandemic swept through the United States, and in only a few weeks, society collapsed. The Division, a unit of agents leading seemingly ordinary lives among us, was activated. These people were prepared to operate independently to save society, should all other forces fail. Seven months post-outbreak, new rumors of a coup threatened the Capitol, Washington, D.C. As a division agent, you are called into the Capitol as the last line of defense. If D.C. falls, the country will fall into the hands of tyrants. You are entering a seamless online open world that provides a vast amount of activities. Our world simulates a variety of weather conditions and a realistic day and night cycle. Upon your arrival, Washington is in a state of disarray. You will need the help of the people of DC to reclaim the city. As months passed with no sign of relief, Civilians regrouped into settlements. They are the hope of a better tomorrow, but under the constant threats of hostile factions, their chances of survival are fragile. You will gain their trust by providing them with supplies, rescuing their members, and helping them become self-dependent. In turn, they will help you on the field, providing reinforcements and sending their experts to help you establish a foothold in the city. You will need to set up the White House as your base of operations. Recruit staff to help you craft new gear, experiment with new skills, and calibrate your equipment to optimize your performance on the field. From here, you will be able to coordinate main missions in key locations, to weaken enemy factions, and reclaim the city as you progress through the campaign. Every encounter will increase your experience, and as the challenge grows, you will scale and retrieve better equipment. Review these statistics carefully to find synergies between equipment, skills, and weapons. The Division is a tactical cover-based shooter. Make smart use of the terrain and your skills to take the advantage. The difficulty will scale, giving you the freedom to play alone or with your friends. You will meet other agents in social areas, such as the settlements, safe houses, and the base of operations. In the Division Two, enemy factions have established their presence in heavily defended strongholds. These bases require a large amount of resources to become operational, so enemies will roam the city in search of areas of strategic value. Control points are strategic locations through which both friendly and enemy factions have the power to influence the surrounding area. Friendly factions will work towards the construction of their settlement through activities such as gathering resources, rescuing hostages, trading with other settlements, and training recruits. Hostile factions will take advantage of their empowered stronghold through aggressive tactics to achieve their goals, reinforcing their foothold and becoming a more dangerous threat to the settlement population even capturing civilians to execute on the streets. Your decisions and actions will influence the faction's strength and the access to key resources for the civilians of DC. But residents are not the only threat. The three dark zones around the city present unique PvPVE experiences pitting you against other agents and factions to recover high-value equipment. As you approach the endgame, the rules will change. The enemy factions grow stronger, and a new elite faction will invade Washington, D.C., the Black Tusks. Their invasion unlocks a set of dynamic activities, such as invaded missions, blockades, and occupied dark zones. To tackle this new challenge, you will need greater tools. As you reach the maximum level, you will choose a specialization and be awarded a signature weapon. These open up new progression pathways with new skill trees to unlock, including grenades, mod variants, and abilities exclusive to each specialization.
Master your character and cooperate with your team to tackle some of the upcoming post-launch challenges. The Black Tusk Stronghold, Tidal Basin, and the eight-player raid, Operation Dark Hours. With one year of free post-launch content in the works, including a new narrative arc, map expansions, and new gear, this is only the beginning of the journey. Agents, welcome to the Division 2.